Hello everybody, it's Amel, and today I'm going to teach you how to solve the remove duplicates from sorted list problem. Given a sorted linked list, delete all duplicates such that each element appears only once. Example 1, the input is this list, 112, so after removing duplicates, the output is the list 12. Example 2, the input is this list, 11233. After removing duplicates, the output is 1, 2, 3. So how can we solve this problem? We can solve this problem in two ways, recursively and iteratively. In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve it iteratively. So what we can do is that we can take advantage of the property that the list is sorted. If the list is sorted, it means that all the values that are the same, that are duplicates, are next to each other. So you can see that these two are duplicates, so these are next to each other. One and one are duplicates, so they're next to each other. Three and three are duplicates, so they're next to each other. So I can have a pointer initialized at the beginning, and I can compare the value of this node with the next node. If they are the same, I just fix the link. For instance, here, I see that the value of this node is the same as the value of the next node. So in that case, I just want to skip this node, so I can fix the link, so I can say that the next pointer, or this arrow, I skip it just to point to 2, and this will be discarded. The same thing here. So let's say I compare the value of this node with this node. They are the same, so I skip it. So by fixing the link, I can skip this node. And then when I see this one has no duplicate, I keep moving forward. When I get to this one, I see that it is the same as this one. So I just fix the link. This one, I skip it. So then it's going to point to null. So without further ado, I'm going to show you how to write the code. First, I need a pointer to node cur initialized to the head. So I have a pointer that points to the beginning of the list. Then I need a while loop. I'm going to say while cur is not equal to null and cur that next is not equal to null. So why am I doing these two conditions? Because I want to make sure that I compare the, the value in this node with the value in the next node. So I want to make sure that cur, this node, is not null, is pointing to something, and cur that next is also not null because there has to be something there. Because every iteration, I'm going to be comparing this value with the next value. So I'm going to say if cur that next Actually, if cur that value equals cur that next that value, what do I want to do? Okay, if I see that this value is the same as this value, I want to remove, I want to skip this node. So I can fix the link. I can say cur that next gets the value of cur that next that next. So this is gonna this link is gonna point to the two. I can say cur that next gets the value of cur that next that next else what does that mean it means that this value the value of this node is not the same as the value of the next node in that case I just want to move forward to check the next node so I just can say cur gets the value of cur that next to move forward then by the end of the iteration all the values that are the same will be removed uh, by fixing the links and all the values will be unique so there will be only one occurrence of every value in this in the list so I return the head because I have to return the beginning of the new list so I'm gonna run the code it seems to be working I'm going to submit a solution all right, this is working perfectly. So the time complexity is big O of n, where n is the number of nodes in the list. The space complexity is big O of 1, because we're only using one variable for uh, to solve the problem. Um, as I said before, we can use recursion. So in one of my future videos, I'm going to show you how to solve this problem recursively. If you like the video, please press the like button. Don't forget to subscribe, and see you next time.